Today's Captain's Blog is made possible through the resounding support of decades from Mr. Paul Kidwell, one of the strangest, most badass gangster rap artists in the history of Detroit. Thank you, sir. somebody do drywall like somebody like a professional i don't know that i've ever seen it it's amazing really watch. oh yeah like this is this beats internet porn any day like how fast would they do this wall fucking Simple. like they'd be done with the whole room in an hour what easy for mud and tape yeah for the they, each coat they'd be done in an hour really oh yeah this is a little room how because they're really fucking fast. Like, wow fast. You are not fast. I am not good at this. First you get smooth, then you get good, then you get fast. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Would you like to step onto this? What? Platform. No, platform okay. shorter than, than where I'm at now. But it's further. I really over. want to be six inches above where I am, and I, I want to be standing right. I know. Right here is where I want to be. I'm not. It's all. It's all around my gosh. Here with the wee people. I'm just gonna pile this shit up. To see, with welding, you can you can oh, fuck. You can hide a lot of sins with grinding and paint. With drywall, you hide a lot of sins with mud and tape. <laughs> Because you put enough layers of mud on something, it's you can be hide a lot it. of imperfections. That's there was quite a few times where you're like, "We'll fix that with mud." Yeah, we can fix it. With mud. It just takes a lot of mud. <laughs> <laughs> the whole process of building a room or even a house, okay, is make a hole, fill a hole. Yep. Okay, and this is one of the second to last stages of hole filling. This is, this is down to pretty tiny holes. Because you start with, you build a wall, right? Yep. And you have a wall sized hole, and you take that down to 16 inch holes. Now you got 16 inch holes. So that's where you do drywall. Sheet rock. So that fills in your 16 inch holes and takes you down to quarter inch holes. If you're as bad at it as I am, that takes you down to quarter inch holes. If you're good at it, it takes you down to like eighth inch holes. Um, and then, once we've filled in our eighth inch holes with mud, then we're down to little tiny, tiny, tiny holes, like pores, right? Mm -hmm. Fill those primer. And then the primer leaves really tiny holes. Fill those paint. And then you got a big empty room to fill with crap. And a really big hole in your wall. Because that's just how that works. Does that go work? Watch that. Alright, you like that part? It's cool. 
Also, hey guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1710 hours on July 2nd, 2019. We're in the workshop doing mud. Mud! And. Ooh, hear that? That was oh, cool. Oh, get this out. Here, I'll do it again. You ready? You ready? That's ASMR shit right there. Oh, I could I could do that for 20 minutes. And just do it. Just put a recording of that shit on the internet. <laughs> there are fucking videos out there. Like I keep these keep keep coming across my feed lately. Okay. Of people that are like mixing paint. It's like just a palette with like two or three different colors of paint. And they're mixing it. And then they show it backwards. And I'm like, what? You gotta, like, I don't know if this is like a thing with drugs today or something, <laughs> but I don't, I don't like that. Alright, here's the one part that I'm good at. You are good so at these holes. one thing I'm good at. Watch this. So you got two clean knives. Not clean pants, though. You grab a dollop. Fuck pants. You grab a dollop. This is why I don't wear nice pants. All right, so we've done all the ones up there. And you take, I don't know, tablespoon. And you go down, over. Okay. This is a tool that you can put shit on with and take it off. So the first time, you put it on. Second time, you take it off. The angle's different. Yes. Right in front of you. That one? Yep. You need to do it. around it, but I'll do it again if it makes you happy. He didn't do it. I just want to satisfy your things. Oh, okay. Alright. In that case. You're gonna need a kumquat, two peanuts, and a watermelon! <laughs> Alright. a drywall team for this one. You have a drywall team? You're fast. Did we miss one? Did we? Just up there. Where? All those. I did those. No, you didn't. I did those when I was up there. Can you fight a sword? Yeah. Why? I videoed the end of you doing it. Alright. Yay. Now let's do the heavy group. Goop. So, this is a four inch knife, this is a six inch knife. is a bigger knife. It's 365 millimeters long. Weird. No, it, there was inches too, but I got that part of the label off. Right around the time I get the whole label off the knife is about when I fuck up the knife in some way. Okay. So now we're going to come over here. The first one, it's all about putting it on. And then we're going to pull that on it. So now I'm taking it off here. And then I transition to putting it on here. And we're just going to pull this down. That's cool. This is not by any means how a professional would do this. This is 
This is the getting by method. This is the, I suck at this, I know I suck at this, you can comment and tell me how bad I suck at this, only if you can post videos of you doing it better. So for my two viewers who are professional drywall people, eat your fucking heart. This is your time to shine. This is your moment of glory. Because this is a fucking art form that is deeply underappreciated by anybody who hasn't seen it. This is an art form. Oh, this is this is definitely art. And to watch it be done. I don't know that I've ever seen fucking anyone. Fascinating. The only thing that I like more than this is watching somebody do wet work. Which is? It's where you start with, like, okay, you put up two by fours, mm -hmm. and then you put up a lath, which is little, like, one inch by quarter inch pieces of strips of wood. Oh, and then plaster. They take, they take fucking plaster, and when they're done, it looks like this. And I've seen it done, watched it with my own eyes, and been like, I don't know how the fuck you did that. My parents' house has that type of walls. Yeah, all, all, all walls used to have that. It's pretty rare to find as a new construction today. There's, there are people that do it, they make ridiculous amounts of money, and they're worth every penny. But they have in their ceiling, they call it ceiling fan? Okay. Ceiling fan waves oh, or whatever? The texturing. Yeah. yeah. So like you had to go back over it in, in a certain pattern. Oh, it's a heart. A drywall heart. See those? All gone. And the rest we fix with sand. And the trick is getting it on thin enough that it'll dry without cracking. Oh, it'll dry, it'll crack when it dries if it's oh, not yeah, thin? Oh yeah, it's too thick. Yeah, you'll fuck it. Up. Really? And getting it on thick enough to hide what you want to hide. Which in this case is my giant jank seams. requires a considerable amount of force to put that in there. You can see how much mud mm -hmm. I take off. Now, I don't use a hawk. The only reason I don't use a hawk is I haven't bought a hawk. Um, I've been using a tray and that's, that's alright. Also, shit, I think we're done. Um, you might want to trim up there. Trim up. Oh no, 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 no. Leave that. Because when they dry, rocking. when they dry, they break right off. Oh really? Yeah. Totally, super easy, cool. It's cool? No problem. Breaks right off once okay. they dry. But right now, if I do it, I'll fuck up my edge. Oh. So you just let them dry, they snap right off when they're drying. I thought maybe you had like a corner thing you could just go along with. They make a corner tool that does inside corners, which is a sign of a rank fucking amateur. Oh. And I'm so bad, I don't even own one. Oh. They're kind of hard to use, um, but they're easier than the pro method. Um, what I do is the worst possible method. I do one side, let that totally dry. And then I'll do the other side. Because <laughs> I can't, like a pro can do both. I can't begin to fuck. So I'll just do, I did this side, which isn't quite dry, so I just did this wall. And then I'll do this side of that corner tomorrow. And I can wait. I'm patient. It's okay. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's today's mud. No tape today. Lots of tape yesterday, but today was all mud. And uh, tomorrow we'll sand it and give it one last coat of mud, which will be the top coat. There's three coats on mud. And uh, we'll finish that out, and I'll do that. And it'll probably be because that's still this is still undercoat. Mm -hmm. um, and so you've got a couple that still need three. Yeah, yeah. So what's today? Tuesday. Today is Tuesday the second. So Wednesday, I can probably paint Thursday or Friday. Really. So today we did this whole wall. Well, this, this is whole all second coat. Jank really. wall. This is all second coat. Everything and that wall. Seen, everything you see is second. Coat. Drying already. I might have enough mud to not have to buy another bucket, but I don't know about that. We're getting we're getting pretty low. So it's uh, definitely a mark of how good the drywaller is 
by how much mud they have to use to hide all their fuck ups and fix all their seams. I have used the better part of what, a three gallon bucket? A three gallon? Mm -hmm. Probably. Three gallon. Um, better, I, I've used almost an entire three gallon bucket on just these two walls. 3.5. Okay, so I got about, what, quarter gallon in there? Maybe a half, yeah. Okay, so I've used about three gallons of mud on just that wall and that wall. Okay, I haven't done anything outside of this room. And I've been through three gallons a month. How do you feel about that? Got no regrets. I suck at drywall. Don't learn drywall from me um, at all. I am terrible at this. But with enough mud and tape and time, which is really the mark of an amateur, is how, how long it takes me to do it. Um, they'll, be, they'll look all right when they're done. Like, it'll look good when it's done. A professional can tell. A professional can, like, side-eye that shit. They'll, like, they'll shine a light at the side. If you watch, like, a pro drywaller, um, a lot of them, you'll see them have a light. Mm. Like, have a trouble light or a flashlight, and they'll shine it sideways, and it makes shit pop. Real pros don't need that. They can just fucking see it. But, like, somebody who really knows their shit could walk in here and be like, Jesus Christ, dude, your seams are fucking huge! And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll get us through. Nobody cares about the seams in the walls. I care about the sound in the walls. I care about soundproofing and fireproofing. And that's, that's what this is all about. Soundproofing and fireproofing. That's why this wall isn't going to be festively painted with all the stripes. It's going to be a white wall. Just white. Semi-gloss. Dutch boy. Because we're in Michigan. Dutch boy. You want to yeah. show us your hands? That, this is nothing. You should have seen me yesterday. I had this pants. whole side of my pants was fucked. I give shit. Having fun. You guys have fun. That's today's captain's blood. <laughs>